thousand people here watching it as the train comes down, travelling at, accelerating all the time and travelling at nearly 100 miles an hour. It won't be long now before it hoves into sight to the people watching it here. We can already hear it, and here it comes, disappearing behind the trees. And that was a train travelling at 100 miles an hour, crashing into a nuclear fuel flask weighing 50 tonnes. It took about five seconds for the debris to settle. There was a slight fire. The next job is to examine the nuclear fuel flask to see whether it has breached the... Uh, whether it has st struck a leak or not. The crash again, taken from a closer angle by an unmanned camera. had reached its climax. Now for a closer view of the crash. The slow motion camera shows the train's death throes even more clearly. The computers had predicted that the train and the flask would be carried up to 200 yards beyond the impact point. In the event, they didn't quite get that far. The flask was virtually undamaged. Pressure tests showed that there wasn't the slightest leak. The CEGB were delighted. These flasks are ultra, ultra safe. And uh, people shouldn't worry at all about the transport of spent fuel. This spectacular demonstration has cost the CEGB nearly one and three quarter million pounds. And they say it's been worth it. If this won't convince their critics they believe, then nothing will.